Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Nikita Afrin from Bright Champs team and today I want to show you how to make catch game in scratch. A game where objects are falling from the sky and you catch them to get the score. We will break it into 5 steps. Move the catcher, make your object to go to the top, fall down, catch it and keep the score. So let's get started. So now let's pick the character that you want to be catching things or object and I'm going to move the object left to right with the arrow keys. So for that, let's go to the option which says choose a sprite option. Press on that. You can see so many options are here. You can choose any one, but I will choose bowl. Now also let's add the backdrop. So I will go to backdrop option and I'm going to choose blue sky. Now I want to make this bowl to go to left to right with the arrow keys. So for that, I'm going to go to motion option and I'm going to add change X by 10, which will make this bowl to go this way. Now I want this ball to do or to go this way if the right arrow key is pressed. So what I'll do for that, I will go to control. I will add if block. Now what is the meaning of this if block? This if block is going to check or this if block will make a sprite to do the code that's in here if the condition is true. So I'm gonna start with green flag. So I will add green flag. And the condition is, I will go to sensing. And I want to move this bowl by clicking on right arrow. So I will add key right arrow pressed. Now let's click on green flag and see what will happen. So as you can see, nothing is happening over here. That's because the if then block is only been checked once. Whenever I'm clicking on green flag, it is asking, have you pressed the right arrow key? So what we want, we want that it should always be checking. Okay. So for that, we are going to use forever block. And when I'm pressing on right arrow, you can see it is moving. Now let's do for the left arrow. So for that, simply you can duplicate this if block and just change the right arrow into left. We can change X by negative 10. Now let's click on green flag. There you go. The bowl is moving left to right. Now let's add another character or object. I'm going to go to choose a sprite option and I'm going to add an apple. And now we have to make this apple to fall from the top to bottom. So for that, I'm going to go to motion option and I will add change Y. Let's make it negative five. You can see the apple is going down. But at the beginning of the game, I want this apple to go to a random place, but always at the top. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use go to random block. As you can see, I'm making this apple to go to a random place every time. But I want this apple to go to random place at the top. So for that, I'm going to use set Y to 180 degree. Let's make it 180. As you can see, when I'm pressing here, it is going to random place, but always at the, but always at the top. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna add green flag. In Scratch, Y represents how far the object is from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. So we will add set Y to 180 degree. Now see, 180 means the object, the position of the object is at the top. In case if, if it will be negative 180, now let's see what will happen. So the position of y minus 180 degree will be at the bottom. But I want it at the top, so I will add positive 180. As you can see. Now let's make this apple to fall down from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. So for that, let's go to event. I will add green flag. Now I'm going to add forever again. And inside forever, I will add if conditional block. Now the condition is, I'm gonna go to operator and I'm going to add less than operator. I'm going to motion option and I will add Y position. So the condition is if the Y position will be less than minus 170. It means that this if block will check if the apple is less than minus 170 or not. Why? The moment the apple will go to the bottom and the value will be a less than minus 170, then it will go back to the top. So for that, again, I'm gonna use go to random position and set y to 180. So you can see it is falling down and we can move the ball also. Now let's make this ball to catch the apple. So for that, we're gonna use green flag again. We're gonna use forever again. And again, if conditional block. So the condition is if touching bowl, then we are going to add the sound. So for that, let's go to the sound option and add start sound I want the collect sound so I'm gonna go to sound option and I will add collect sound now again I'm going to use go to random position and set y to 180 degree so you can see when it is touching the bowl There we go. Now the catcher is catching the apple. Now let's add the score. So for that, we have to go to variable option and we have to make a variable score. Now what is the meaning of variable? The variable is like a container box or storage box where you assign values inside it. So we are going to make score variable and then I'm going to add change score by one. Every time when the catcher will catch the apple, you will get the score. Let's see. You can see I'm getting the score. Now again, I want to set the score to zero when I click on green flag. So there you go. This is called a catch game. That's what I wanted to show you. So that's all for today's session. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. If you have any doubts or questions on the tutorial, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I will solve all your queries. And please do like, share and subscribe to our channel to see more amazing videos like this every day. Thank you.